This is Eddie Hearn, Matchroom Boxing. You're watching Sporting Icons. You don't need to be anywhere else. Now, you may or may not have noticed, or maybe not particularly bothered, because you have the same kind of mentality that I do, that you may have noticed that I don't really talk about Amir Khan versus Kel Brook so much. I do it once in a blue ass moon, and I'll mention it within a video if I'm talking about Amir Khan, or I'm talking about Kel Brook, I'll just mention it. Okay, but I don't delve too much into it. And the reason that I don't is because I know the answers, and I know that you guys also know the answers. And I found myself starting to boil in the post-fight press conference for Kel Brook when he defeated Michael Zarafa. Um, listen, Kel Brook didn't look great. By his own admission, he didn't. Maybe it could be a whole multitude of reasons. He was just flat, maybe a bit of ring rust, maybe because he's got a new trainer, wasn't adapting as quickly as they hoped. Maybe the whole Amir Khan thing is it, just playing on his mind. Don't know what it is. To be honest, don't care. He won. Let's move on. Right. Now, the reason that I don't talk about Amir Khan and Kel Brook so much is because I'm kind of at the point now where it's almost two years too late. That's my honest opinion. I'm at the point now where I'm not really bothered about it anymore. Um, but at the same time, if the fight was signed, of course, of course, um, I would imagine that the, the flame will be reignited and I'll be excited about the fight. But in the post-fight press conference, I found myself getting angry and I'm directing it towards reporters who are asking Kel Brook questions, not only in the press conference, but the one-on-ones with him and Eddie Hearn and da da da. And listen, within this video, there's a very good chance that I'm gonna get a little bit ratty here and I'm, I, I can't promise I'm not gonna swear. Now, I found myself getting quite arsy with some of the reporters because I know had I been there, when I start to boil, I have to release. And there's a very good chance I'll, I'll probably just flip the switch within that, that press conference. I'm a very laid back person. I will just sit at the back of the room and I won't say a peep to nobody, okay? I'll keep myself to myself. That's pretty much what I do. But if I start to boil, it just falls out of my mouth and then I have to see, like, see it through, if that makes sense. So within this press conference, they asked Kel Brook, they spent pretty much the whole press conference asking Eddie Hearn and Kel Brook about Amir Khan. And I'm boiling because I'm thinking, what more questions could you possibly ask that you don't already know the answer to? And the people who watch your platform here on YouTube, on Sky Sports, on the radio, wherever the hell it may be, who doesn't know the answers already prior to the press conference? Especially as Kel Brook pretty much opened up his press conference talking about um, Amir Khan, just to put everything to bed, he says, listen, I want Amir Khan next, I'm willing to fight 147, and a rehydration clause. I'm willing to do that. Everything is now in the hands of Amir Khan. But that didn't satisfy the reporters. They kept asking him about Amir Khan. And, uh, seriously, I'm looking at him, and I'm like, what the hell are you doing? You're spending this whole entire press conference just talking about Amir Khan. Listen, it's great for publicity, of course, but your viewers already know the damn answers. I'm looking at Cal Brook and I can see he's, he's just starting to get drained of it now. And I'm getting drained of it, just listening to it, which is why I don't particularly want to be talking about it, because I know the answers. You guys know the answers. Cal Brook wants to fight. He went to fight 147 and had the rehydration clause of £10. That's all... I, Literally, that is all we need to know as far as Kel Brook goes. If you want to know anything else, direct it towards Amir Khan. Again, it's like even in the press conference saying, well, what about this? And is this really like the last chance this fight doesn't happen? And he's like, yeah, yeah. If this fight doesn't happen next, then it's never going to happen again. And then five minutes later, someone else is asking him, is this really going to be the last chance? I'm like, oh my God, you people get paid for this? You people are professional reporters and you can't come up with something new that you don't already know. Well, you know, our viewers, they want to know. Your viewers already know, you complete fucktard. You, they already know. This is why I don't talk about it because I consider my subs to have some kind of intelligence about them to already know what the answer is. So therefore, there's no point me making a video on it because they know. They know Kelbrook wants to fight. The ball is in the hands of Amir Khan. Amir Khan has two choices apparently, Kel Brook or Terence Crawford. Which one does he take? That's entirely his own beeswax. And to be honest, I don't care if this fight doesn't happen now. I'm at the point of virtually no return now. I'm just fed up of it. 
Because listen, if Amir Khan ends up fighting Terence Crawford, guess what? That's another fight night for us. And then Kell Brook goes and fights, I don't know, Jarrett Heard. That's another fight night for us. So that's two fight nights rather than one. So I'm cool with it. If these guys fight, I'm cool with it. If they don't fight, I'm cool with it. But these reporters, I swear, had I been in there, there's a very good chance that I'd have probably kicked off within that press conference. Because after a while, I will start to boil, as I've said. And I'll probably end up threatening people within that uh, audience there. The next person who mentions Amir Khan to Eddie Hearn or Kell Brook, I'm going to pick up Kuka's tripod over there and I'm going to wrap it around your skull. Because you just wasted an entire press conference for when you could have been asking him questions that I really want to know, that viewers really want to know. Which is, if this fight doesn't happen with Amir Khan, what options? What one really gets you? Kel, do you really, really want Jarrett Heard? Now that you're the WBA mandatory, is that a realistic possibility? Does that fight excite you with Jarrett Heard? As he's a unified champion at 154 pounds. You're also number two in the WBC for Jamel Charlo. Personally, I don't think Jamel Charlo would do it. I think Jamel Charlo has got the Deontay Wilder about him. Just wants to duck everybody. And, and that includes his brother. They'll talk a good game, but don't actually step up. But again, Jamel Charlo is a good option and a fight that I would be interested in. If not, 147. Keith Thurman, what about that one? What about a rematch with Sean Porter? What about a rematch with Alice Pence Jr.? What about um, Terence Crawford? Maybe trying to hijack that one. Maybe fight the winner of Manny Pacquiao, Adrian Broner. There's so many things that they could have asked and made it more interesting in, rather than talking about Amir Khan. I don't know what more questions you could possibly ask Kel Brook that you don't already know the answer to. Am I ranting a bit? Maybe. Maybe I'm going a bit over the top. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. But I'm at the point where I'm sick of it now. And I'm sick of hearing it. Because I like Kel Brook. Kel Brook's one of my favourite fighters. Whether he's one of yours or not. Listen, whatever. But he's personally one of mine. And I want to know a lot of things about him. I want to know who is it that you want to fight. I want to know where is your future. Where do you see yourself? All that kind of thing. These are the questions I want to know. Kel Brook's career does not revolve around Amir Khan. Amir Khan's career does not revolve around Kel Brook. If this fight happens, great. If it don't, I couldn't give a monkeys. I really couldn't care less. And these reporters asking the same, same questions. And these people are professional. Not only in the press conference, but when they're having the one-on-one. -on -one. And the thing is, they know they're doing it. Because a lot of them say, well, we know you're probably sick of like, um, you know, being asked this question, but, you know, what about a a Amir Khan? What don't you fucking know about Amir Khan that Kel Brook hasn't already told you? Or Eddie Hearn hasn't already told you? What more don't you know? And I'm talking to IFL, I'm talking to Sky Sports, I'm talking to Seconds Out, I'm talking Behind the Gloves, I'm talking um, Boxing Social, I'm talking Sky Sports, I'm talking bloody... I don't know who that I'm talking to, but I'm talking to the whole damn lot of you. Stop asking these stupid questions because I'm sick of it. I'm sick to death of it. As a fan of boxing and a fan of Kel Brook and a fan of Amir Khan, I'm sick to death of it. If you really want this fight, listen, I get it. But your viewers are not interested in hearing the same repeated answers. Yes, I want the fight with Amir Khan. Yes, I'm going to fight him at 147. Yes, I'm willing to do the rehydration clause. And yes, I want it next. And if this fight doesn't happen next, then it's never going to happen. We know this. Why are you asking stupid fucking questions? Seriously. I really want to, to be picking up chairs and going WWE on some of these damn reporters and just start laying into them in a damn press conference, overtaking the damn thing. And just start laying into them because I'm frustrated. Because you've got a guy up there, we don't often get to hear from Kel Brook. There's so many questions you could have asked him, but you didn't do it. You just didn't do it. You touched on things. Listen, you did. But then he kept going back about Amir Khan. I'm sick to death of it. Honest to God, I'm fucked off of it. I'm sick to death of hearing about Amir Khan and Kell Brook and asking Kell Brook the same repetitive questions. And to Eddie Hearn, it doesn't matter what channel I go on, what platform, if I see in the title, Eddie Hearn talks Amir Khan. Kell Brook talks Amir Khan. I ain't clicking on it because I know the goddamn answer. What's the point? People don't care about this fight anymore. Why don't you people realise? We don't care about this damn fight. If it gets signed, we'll probably start to care again. But until it happens, 
We just accept it ain't gonna happen. Move on. Kel Brook, what about Jarrah Hood? Unified champion. Wouldn't you fancy that one? After what Jason Wellborn was doing to him, you got a very good chance. Jamel Charlo, for me, I think he's pretty chilly, to be honest. I think if Kel Brook lands one of those chocolate brownies, I wouldn't be surprised to see Jamel Charlo hit the deck. Likewise, he's got a very good punch on him too. So he could actually clean the clock of Kel Brook, right? 147. Oh, I've always, always wanted to see Kel Brook versus Keith Thurman. Get on with that one. These fight, fights at, right now excite me more than Kel Brook versus Amir Khan. And that's being truthful. So for all you retarded reporters out there asking the same derelict questions, get a hold of Amir Khan. Surely, surely some of you guys have got a contact with, it, with Amir Khan. I have. And yes, they keep promising me. So yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll sort it out. Yeah, we'll sort it out. Oh, well, he can't do it right now because he's in Pakistan. Oh, he can't do it right now he's in Dubai. Oh, he can't do it right now he's in America. Oh, he can't do it right now. We'll sort it out. Now, I just don't ask anymore. So surely you guys have more influence than what I do. I'm a, I'm a new channel. I'm tiny. Get Amy Khan onto your platform. Ask him the question. Stop asking Kel Brook. Stop asking Eddie Hearn. Because I'm sick to fucking death of hearing it. Anyway, drop your thoughts below. Click that thumbs up. Subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.